It's Monday. It's another Music Gear Monday. We're out here surviving hurricanes in Los Angeles. Since it's back to school, everybody's going back to dorms. A lot of people want to be creative in their dorms. One take, Timmy. And I'm gonna give you the blueprint on how to do it. A couple things you're gonna need if you want to make music, record, things like that inside your dorm. Get a pen and pad. Make sure you write this down. And walking to get my groceries. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is a laptop. And I always tell people, don't skimp on your laptop because that's gonna be kind of the backbone of your production rig or your music making rig. So a lot of these softwares will say eight gigabytes of RAM is the minimum. I always say if you can try to get a good amount of RAM, 16 gigs is a good amount of RAM, but you can go up to 32 and 64. So if you can afford the upgrade, make sure to do it. Make sure to get a strong processor. MacBooks, you got the M1 and the M2 processor. They're great processors for a lot of the music software out there. You can also look at the Intel processors. Uh, any of the Intel Quad should be able to get the job done. So just make sure you, you're getting something that is like quad core processors. As far as storage goes, you want to make sure to get a good amount of storage because as beat makers, music makers, you're saving a ton of files usually. If you can't afford to upgrade the laptop storage, you can look into external hard drives i'll put some links in the description below for external hard drives but a terabyte is a really good solid place to start with a laptop if you can afford it 256 is usually the smallest and i would say you're gonna fill that up pretty quickly so i would definitely recommend getting something bigger if you can get to a terabyte get to a terabyte if you can't then look into external storage you can also look into the hacks of having those little sd cards in your sd card slot you can do you know a terabyte of sd card in your in your sd card slot so look into that as well next on the list is audio interfaces and i feel like i've done this video before but i think it was more for mobile the great thing is if you're just making beats you don't need an audio interface you could just use your laptop and just use it to make beats with if you are however trying to record any type of audio your voice any kind of instruments, violin, a guitar, anything like that, you're gonna need an audio interface. Tons of audio interfaces to choose from. Just think of the basics though, of what you wanna do if it's just vocals, just one instrument. You just need an audio interface with one input and the good news is that they are really cheap right now. I'll put some links in the description below, but tons of companies making them, tons of places you can get them from and the quality of audio interfaces are really good nowadays. So, But audio interface is gonna be what you're gonna need to record any type of audio. I'll link a video about audio interfaces in the description below as well. But again, if you don't need to record instruments, you won't need one. Third thing you're gonna need is a microphone. And this one could get a little tricky because if you're recording in a space that is very noisy, you're gonna need something that is like a dynamic microphone, which is something that a lot of people use on stage. So, so if you're in a place that is very loud, like I was saying earlier, you're gonna need a dynamic mic. And I did a whole video on microphones. I'll link that down below as well. If you're in a space that you can control as far as volume goes, as far as noise goes, then I recommend getting a condenser microphone, a large diaphragm condenser microphone. It picks up a lot more frequency range. It's better for vocals, it's better for a lot of different instruments. Microphones are gonna be the key to recording sound. Last but not least, and this is why I saved this for last because there's almost too many options, is production software. There are a ton of production softwares available. I personally like to use Ableton, Serato Samples, another one for a lot of you cats that love to sample, sample beats and roll it into digital software. Also have things like Logic and Pro Tools, which are a little more versatile for, you know, people that just want to mix music and be in engineers logic recently updated added some really cool new tools for beat makers cool i know ableton is trying to 
angle more towards beat makers and producers with a lot of their new tools. You have software like Machine and you have software like FL Studio and Reason, which are a little more niche, but a lot of amazing producers are using those softwares. I have all of these different softwares and I like to jump in between them all to learn all the different tools. But if you can't afford to get all of them, make sure you do your research, kind of figure out which one is best for you. There's always a producer software battle going on, on the internet where people are labeling the different producers that use the different softwares. I always think it's pretty funny to see, but it's really up to you. It's up to what is comfortable, what is easier to learn for you. Sony Acid was my first big DAW. And I think I was even using Cool Edit at some point. So, and those were way back in the day. Now, a lot of the software is a lot more interesting, a lot more fun to use. And there are a lot more tools available. So I would look at what feels right, what looks the most interesting because you want it to be fun while you're using it almost like you're playing a video game or something because if it's not it's daunting to open that you know software that DAW you're not going to want to you know use it or make music with it so make sure to look at all of the different options and go from there next is midi controllers so having a midi controller not necessarily a necessity but something that you want to have so that you can actually play virtual instruments or control your software tons of different midi controllers to choose from i did a video on midi controllers i'll link that in the description below as well but again you don't necessarily need a midi controller in order to make beats or record but it's something that you do want to have if you are looking to control your software instruments. Tons of MIDI controllers to choose from. I like to use my OP1, which is a synth slash MIDI controller. When I'm traveling, it's compact, it's small. There are things like the Novation Launchpad. Man, there are so many things like the Akai, APC, the Launch Key, stuff like that, that is all virtual, that's all made to control those virtual instruments. If you want to have more control over your software, you're gonna wanna have a MIDI controller so if you're wanting to play keys you probably want to find something with piano keys on it if you're wanting to drum out samples you probably want to find something closer to a sample pad or a drum pad or something like that so make sure to check out some of the links below about MIDI controllers and the video I did on MIDI controllers shout out to our sponsors today crate connect digital record pool providing tons of new music new releases hundreds of different genres and chart topping hits everything and anything instrumentals acapellas latin mubatone techno dance hall even country music so if you're a dj and you want to spruce up your music library this is a great tool to utilize the price is just right with different options from 30 days 90 days and 180 days with high resolution audio this is a great option for anybody wanting to expand their dj library they even have a clothing shop this one's my favorite make sure to hop on over check out crate connect i will be putting a link in the description below which will include a discounted price so make sure to hop on that while it lasts so yeah that's it for creating your you know mobile slash dorm room studio let me know your thoughts below i'll put some links in the descriptions and we'll kind of go from there that's going to be it for today's music gear monday we'll be back next week we're diving into some ai software some check out some of these different options some of these tools and see how they help you create something unique so see you guys next week peace